Day one. It's the end of the day. Pretty tired. We have uh, went around and we've got all the riser walls up and the first row of triangles on the main dome. And here's the really beautiful thing. That right there is the garage dome. All the triangles, all the struts are in place. So we have <laughs> we have staged more struts. First thing in the morning, we'll be back and we will be putting in the horizontal row and then we'll start to span these <laughs> these uh, openings. So it's been uh, a lot of work wrestling things into place. You uh, have to pin everything together. So I'll give you a really good close-up of the riser walls here. So riser walls, again, we have super struts here. So you can see that they are very, very thick. So we have 18 inch walls, essentially. And we have these triangles. So this is the hardware on the strut. And then that right there is a hub and you pound the pin in, it's an interference fit, and that is what locks it all in position. So it's, it's a puzzle, and you have to figure out what strut goes where. In the main dome, there are six different length struts. This is a four frequency dome. In these spaces where there are no riser wall, you can see that there is a super strut spanning it to keep it all spaced correctly. And there are pre-cut two-by material so that we can make that open space into a riser wall enclosed just like that. The reason for that is because each of these facets, they share the corner material, the end material of a riser wall. This end of this riser wall is also the end of this riser wall. And so you have to fill in these gaps. That's all. You can see that there is insulation down there. We have a lot more to go in after we get this thing in place. There's a lot more to do before we have to worry about insulation um, and everything else. And you will also notice that nothing is mounted to the, to the, uh, uh, the slab yet. That's because in, in one of these types of builds, you have to let the structure find its, its shape. If you, if you bolt it down ahead of time, you're going to have a hell of a time getting the last several struts at the very top to line up and, and get your pins in. They're, you, they're just going to fight you. So this right here gives you an opportunity to get everything lined up and, um, and, and it finds its shape to some degree. And then you have to nudge it back into where it should be with a hammer, big hammer, a BFH. And then you, uh, and then, then you drill in and you epoxy in some bolts. So these are some friends and family that have come to enjoy the day with us and they've been working very, very hard and we have this wonderful structure already up. All this framework, this is all the garage. Isn't this amazing? Look at that. Now we started with the garage because we figured it was easier. It was a learning process for everybody. And they're not super struts, and there's only it's a two frequency dome. And in this particular case, because of the diameter, there's only two different length struts. We had an interesting situation happen where we discovered that the company they accidentally sent us two long struts instead of two of the shorter struts. We were short two, we were short two short ones. We had two extra long ones, so we cut them, we drilled them. We bolted the hardware back on, bada bing, and it's all pinned in place. The guys had a little bit of a wrestle with it. They had to ratchet it and such to get it in place. The Larry last one, but they got it. You can see that these riser walls, this is a 29 foot diameter, um, two frequency dome. These riser walls are higher than in the main dome. And so, and then this is a mid profile dome. So you can see that the top plate is a um, is is horizontal it's level with the ground and that's because that's the equator of a mid profile dome again same thing we have to fill in two spaces on this dome 
for the riser wall. It's all pre-caught. All we have to do is just lay it in place and nail it down and it, it'll all fall into place. Not a problem. Here's a better look at the hubs. That's the hub and that shows you how these things pin together. And I'll show you on the other side. This right there is the bolts, basically, that you use. They're the pins. It's an interference fit. And they grind the ends at a bevel. You can see that bevel on there? They grind those ends, and it, and it makes it so that you can get them in. So there you go. First day, we have structure. And tomorrow, we start, <laughs> we start putting more of it up. First thing light, first light tomorrow, we're going to be out here, right gang? Yay! <laughs> okay, hey, remember, life is good in the Adirondacks.